Hey guys, in today's video we're going to show off our haul from Fanex. We've got some good stuff, some gems in there. So anyways, let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Kaylor. I'm Larissa. Thanks for joining us here on Utah Pops. We're excited to have you back. And if you're new, thanks for joining in. Um, make sure to like and subscribe so that you continue on this journey with us so that you can share in the content and stay up to date on what we're doing. Anywho, we just went to Fanex, Salt Lake City Comic Con over the last couple days. We have yeah, was fun. a little bit of a haul. So we're going to show you what we got. And so we've got some gems. We got some things signed. We got lucky and got some chases. So um, let's show you what we got. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Great experience. We met a lot of neat people. Um, so stay tuned for some videos to come this week. Going into a little bit more about that at Fanex. Um, yeah, we'll, it was uh, great. we'll showcase yeah. a couple of our interactions and experiences in those upcoming videos. Yeah. Met some really cool people. So if you're one of those people, you're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> great experience. So, uh, we have several different categories, I guess you could say. So Got a few Star Wars pops. If you watch Slapshot Pops, he recommended we pick up some Mandalorians since Season 3 trailer of The Mandalorian showed off some new Mandalorians that we haven't seen. So, I hadn't picked up the heavy... What is it? Heavy, heavy infantry, infantry Mandalorians. So, here he is, added to the collection. So we'll see if that value yeah, spikes we'll or does value spikes. interesting. If not, it's just a cool pop. Yeah, and it gets added to our collection. This one's one I've actually been hunting for a while. How many will find it? Not necessarily a hard pop to find. Not necessarily something that's got lots of value. But since I've got the Mandalorian collection, and that's kind of what I started on, I've been looking for Quill for quite some time. So first stop. First uh, booth we stopped yeah, first at, booth had him. we saw him. Well, Thank you didn't even see him. I yeah. I just kind of was looking around <laughs> it, and was like, oh, it was her. need that one? <laughs> so, thank you, Pop City, Utah, for having this in your booth. We're adding to the collection. Now I've got most of the originals from Season 1. So that's good. Okay. Some of the other ones I've been on the lookout for are some Rogue One and especially... Um, Cassie and Andor pops because Andor just came out just a couple days ago. And so we're going to see if we get some boosts on maybe, you know, what Andor's worth. If you're on Instagram, you saw a reel I had the other day. I got the one from um, the convention that just came out recently. And then I got the Target exclusive of him from the original Rogue one line so now we've added another one yeah so that'll be fun um a few sodas that we got we actually did a soda break with um first form collectibles and pop fiend it was kind of a, a group group effort but anyway really cool experience um if you haven't seen the video on that, it's pretty fun, pretty Check exciting. So they had us pull three sodas, and we opened them right there, so we did video that. First one was a Luke Skywalker. We're looking for the chase still. We got the common, so we didn't really open that one up too much after that. And here's another reason to go watch that video. We're giving him away. So go check that video out. We're yeah, still, check it out. We still are open for entries. Yeah, I mean, even the comment of that one is still a really fun pop, fun to add to the collection. So definitely one we're keeping and probably get a lot more of as we search for the chase. Yep. So we have been looking for the Morticia Adams chase. We have the common and this was the second soda we pulled. This was the chase. So her color's a little bit different. The head is gone off the top of the rows. Um, not the biggest difference between common and chase in sodas but still really fun and now we have chase morticia and chase gomez adams so yeah getting the whole family and this one i actually don't think i had really known this was a soda came out last year this oh i always go the wrong way <laughs> snow miser uh from the old claymation movies so this was the first one we opened 
and he is the chase as well. One of 1,250 diamond glitter. And I have to say, this is a fantastic chase. Fantastic pop. I mean, the detail is great. The glitter is so, great. Half glitter is great. The glitter yeah. ones just, uh, in my opinion, don't look very good. So, super fun. He is sharp. Yeah. Really cute, and we'll definitely have to do some sort of a Christmas display for that. Yeah. Um, so, keeping in the animation theme, I guess, for a minute, we had been on the hunt for the Sully to go with our mic from this. Don't we have Celia as well? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, with with him, we now have this entire collection here. Oh, yeah, because we have the uh, Snow Monster. Yep. Oh, I guess Yeti. He's a yep. Yeti. So, this is the newer Monster Zine mm -hmm. lion that came out. It's the whole scene when they get back to his... Well, I guess to their, their apartment, apartment, and they're all freaked out still about, oh no, the kid, you know, the germs, and so mm -hmm. that's why he's got his uh, trash can lid, you know, he shield, and he's got the colander on his head, Mike's all dressed up too, you know, with his oven mitt and the spray and everything, mm -hmm. so it's a fun set. Yeah, fun set. That's the only Sully we went looking for, but I saw this one. With Boo in the takeout, I could not pass it up. It is just too cute. So, Funko Shop exclusive. just way cute. Um, this was one of my favorite movies growing up, and so just hits that nostalgia, but way cute. Just kind of goes mm -hmm. to the cleverness of Pixar and, and the detail that Funko does with these pops. It's fantastic. Yeah, and she's like perfect, like... Probably matches up with the mini size pretty well. Yeah, so pretty well. we've got a mini and a pop in a single box. Definitely fun. Um, keeping with Disney, and I'll let you show this one off so I can move some of those. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull her out for just a moment because okay. we're already dealing with glare. We don't need the glare from a, need more glare. a box. Anyways, Haunted Mansion, the bride. She's got her axe, hatchet. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, but we went and met Kat. So yeah. I'm drawing a blank on her last name. Cresta. Cres Cressida. Cressida. Cat Cressida. She voices the bride on the rides. And a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. um, as we she, got talking with she's her. She's Dee Dee. Mm -hmm. So she also signed Dee Dee on there. Um, she does what were some of those of other things that were on her um, poster? She does the voice of Jesse from Toy Story. Oh yeah, Jesse from Toy Story. In the parks and games and like the yeah, like the whole scope the rides, well, things like that. Not she's only not in the movie, but no, she's not in the movie. Oh, she's not in the movie. No, oh. Joan Cusack is the movie. But yeah. all the all the games, all the rides, anything in Disney World or Disneyland, she does the voice for that. Um, there were a few others I don't remember, but super talented, super amazing. Character so that from was from Archer. Yeah, character from Archer, a few others. There's something else I recognize on her poster, but drawing a blank. But anyways, yeah. that was really cool meeting her. We chatted so, with her for a couple minutes. Back so. into the nice protection she mm -hmm. goes, maybe. So this is another okay. standalone we found. Next we picked up Marty, because Back to the Future, that's a classic. Why, why not? Why not? Um, we've got Doc, and so we figured Doc needs a friend. From yeah. his own movie. So now we can put Marty next to Doc. Yeah. Eventually we'll uh, get some more Back to the Future Pops. They have some really fun ones. Another kind of by itself collection. This was another one I saw and just could not pass up. If you've been watching our channel, you probably picked up the... We Harry like Potter Harry Potter. We did Potter a whole heads. Harry Potter birthday video and giveaway and everything. So here's Hagrid. With Harry's cake. Happy birthday, Harry. So. And the still of a deal, too. We got him for 20 bucks or something like that yeah. for a larger pop. Like, yeah, for a larger pop. Like, why not? Plus, really good. fun. You can't go wrong with Hagrid, but Hagrid with the cake that he made for Harry. There's another one why of not? Hagrid and his pink umbrella that I really, really thought yeah, about. But I thought, fun too. oh, well get that another day mm -hmm. now <laughs> so, going along with our big nerdum we're big star wars fans but we're also big trekkies so it's actually how i uh, got you to fall in love with me <laughs> <laughs> yep 
She made a passing Star Trek reference, and I think my draw. Oh, it hit the floor. <laughs> just totally dropped. So we're big Trekkie fans, so this was really cool. Um, some of the next generation pops have been harder to find. They're an older run, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So 2015, they're of vaulted. Some have been vaulted, yeah. Uh-huh. The, the whole line. Oh, the whole line was yeah, vaulted. So okay. Hard to come across them, but we came across quite a few, so we were lucky. Yeah. We had Locutus of Borg. It's the only one we had before... But now we picked up the Klingon. He's got his Batleth in his hand. There's the back of the box. So there's a whole total of six. So right there next to the Klingon. Um, eight. Yes, if I can do my counting, that's the Kuda Suborg. So that's the one we have. Now we got Klingon. And another Let's go Klingon. Along with the Klingon, we have a Klingon Wharf. So we've got him. His yellow shirt. His, uh,. Bandolier, I guess. So, awesome. We and were then, excited to add him. The guy gave us a really good steal of a deal. I got a steal of a deal on that one. Yeah. So, it was good. PPG was 65, and he was like, yeah, we'll do 45 for you, because we chatted with him for a yeah. bit. I guess our uh, Utah Pops logo looks a lot kind of like theirs. They've got a Colorado. They're from Colorado, so they had a Colorado mm -hmm. and their two little characters. And so they were like, hey, you're Utah Pops, we're Colorado Pops. Yeah. So that's probably yeah one of those probably helps yeah one of those really fun interactions um that's another thing we've really come to love is just everyone in the funko community is fantastic mm -hmm. so that's fun now the ultimate for us this trip the ultimate trekkie experience was this so we had been looking for a data pop we knew that brent spiner was going to be at fanex uh we wanted to get something signed by him and we've been looking for what, a couple months. I've been looking for a couple months. Couple months. Haven't wasn't been able finding to find a good it. Price or every time I decide to go for it, it would get sold or you know, I'd get on and nothing was on Mercari or eBay. So well first again, up, Pop Utah. City. Yep, Pop City. We're Utah. Pop yeah, we're Utah, yeah, Pop. Utah Pop. Pop City, Utah. Um, posted earlier in the day that they had one of these and so since we had vip passes we ran straight to their got it their early. booth and got it so brent spinner was awesome we loved having him sign it he couldn't believe how much his pop was worth and then he's like it's probably worth less now that i signed it and it's like no no so we had fun chatting with him so now we've got data signed but we won't be selling it no. no, we're too big of nerds for that. <laughs> That's why he's going in the special thick vault. So, hopefully we will keep adding. Oh, that's magnetized. That's cool. Yeah. Um, hopefully we'll keep adding <laughs> to our Star Trek pops because again we are nerds and it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um, this was my actual collection hunting, which I've been, you know, talking with Kayla. I'm like, I don't really know what I want, what I'm going for, you know, if I see something, I'm kind of like, okay, that's cute, or, you know, that's from a movie or show I really like, so I've kind of picked it up, but I haven't necessarily had anything that I've been focusing on uh, that has changed, not for very long, because there's not very many of these pops, but I absolutely love Princess Bride, so this was the first one we found during the weekend, and you go Montoya, we also were looking at the box today, and... Well, actually, I lucked out, there was a... One of those little oxygen packet oh, things awesome. in the pop within oh. the within the cover, the so it was rattling as I moved it, and so I thought this has to come out. Yeah. And as I was opening it up, the lip of the lid it says, "Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die." And that I mean, it's just fantastic. What other pops have that? Because yeah. so far I haven't run yeah, across so far that I before. Seen um. But just, again, shows the detail that Funko does, and I love it. So that's the first one we found. And I thought, okay, he was a good deal. You know, I'll just start the collection. We had kind of looked at some of these um, other pops. We'd seen a couple Wesleys, but they were above PPG mm -hmm. in some of the booths. Um, so we're like, okay, you know, we'll we'll just keep searching for it. It's relatively... Well, part of that was really who was there? Carrie Elwes was there, the guy who does Wesley. Um, so everyone was a little higher on those who were there. Understandable, of course. Um, but we thought, oh, no, we'll pass. And then it was Friday. So day two, going around. We just happened to find a few other booths. And, and we actually later found... Later day two. Yeah, later day two, we found 
not only the chase for 40 so that's him with his mask really fun uh, but we also found um, his common so just him without the mask again his little thing says as you wish which I absolutely love and then huge crush on him growing up you know and he just was one of my favorite actors so I've watched like almost everything he's been in and he was there and it was Saturday morning we were getting ready to leave and I was like oh maybe maybe I should have done that maybe I should have gotten something signed or done a photo op and so Kayler said you know what she ho-hummed and I put the pop into a protector mm -hmm. and threw it in my backpack yeah and then we were there VIP we got in a little bit early and so he was gonna go get uh Giancarlo Esposito's um, autograph on a Moff Gideon pop, but his line was forever and a day long because he was even, only there Saturday. Even getting there early. There were probably 100 plus yeah. people in his line. I was like, hmm, -hmm. I like this guy. Moff Gideon's cool. Mm -hmm. You know, I was trying to... Star Wars is the biggest part of our collection, yeah. but I was like, I'm not waiting in that line. <laughs> So then as I'm walking back to Larissa, who is getting a William Zapka signature. Yeah, because we got like, a photo up with Wait, him there's only like our photo. three people in line for Carrie Elwes, so her crush. Oh, yeah, so thanks for I, telling him that. I sacrificed and, you know, got in line so my wife could meet her crush. <laughs> anyway, he was <laughs> very nice. He was he was so, so kind. Nice. Such a sweetheart. Um and, you know, the, like, two minutes of interaction were just fantastic. So my heart is happy. But he signed his pop, as you wish, and then his doctor signature. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so this is one that, you know, this is fantastic for me. So now I have um, just Buttercup to find. And then my little collection will be complete. And hopefully they make more of these because yeah. they're fantastic. So anyway, that's my... Big moment. <laughs> Biggest part of the video here. So, you know, I, I hope you understand <laughs> how big this was. <laughs> Super big. Anyway, <laughs> let's stop talking about how nerdy I am. <laughs> okay, we got one more little thing to show off. So this is actually something I had seen last year at the same booth. So I don't know how they still had some, but it's um, the Bogger as Snape from the third movie. Yep. Yeah, third movie. So I believe this is Neville Longbottom's Bogart, but it's him and his grandmother's clothes. So he's got the dress, he's got the purse, um, got the hat with the bird and all the things. So we'll eventually take this guy out and show a little bit better detail probably over on Instagram. So check that out. Uh, but saw it last year and then saw it again this year and I thought, oh, got to get it. It's just too classic. So that was our Funko haul. Yep, that was our haul. But wait, we got one more thing. We did. Yeah. So, we had an interaction with some of our fans. Um, somebody who actually won one of our last giveaways. Turns out him and his daughter are really big fans. She likes watching our stuff. So, she wrote us a nice little note, sent a little picture with, you know, you know, saying hi and everything. Um, I guess she doesn't let her dad miss a video. Always makes him turn it on. Yeah, so... so. We decided to do something special for her. So, Beatrice, this is for you. So, this actually was probably the hardest thing to find in all of our Funko hunting. We would have known that with like 20 different Bell pops available for us to hunt down, it'd be so hard. <laughs> um, but I think you'll like it. I hope you do. And we're going to send it off to you along with that giveaway with lots of love. Um, just want to say thank you for being a fantastic community and the support you guys give us, mm -hmm. all of you. We appreciate it. Yep. So Beatrice, Belle is one of her favorites too, so she was excited. That's one of the ones off of the list your dad sent, so hope you love it. Anyways, guys, I'm sure this is getting to be a longer video. Yeah, we'll be done now. We'll sign off. Yeah, we'll be done. Mm -hmm. um, before we do, hit that like button down at the bottom and that helps us out. Helps us know if you're liking this or not, um, along with YouTube's algorithms and you know, all that jazz. Um, subscribe so that you're, you know, seeing these things. And on top of that, if you want to get a no notification about 
when each video pops up, you want ring to the bell. ring that bell. Hit also, that little bell icon. Yeah, leave us a comment. Let us know if any of these you liked, if there's, you know, pops that you're personally hunting for that are kind of like your grails mm -hmm. or something you really want to add. We'd love to hear what you guys are looking yeah. for. What was your favorite out of this? If you had been at a Comic Con hunting down, let what us would know. You what would you have been looking for? Because yeah. some of these we were 100% looking for. Yeah. Others, kind of like that Hagrid, we just saw and we're like... Happy accidents. Yep. <laughs> so <laughs> let us know be. below and... Thanks for staying tuned and catch us next time. Yeah, as always, we'll see you later. Have a great day.